great island sleeps. For some, maybe. But it's only midnight in Magabo. <laughs> who say that Mallorca has sacrificed its identity on the altar of mass tourism. In Magalhães and Palma Nova, that argument simply doesn't apply. For those places have no identity of their own. They never have. They didn't exist before the holiday companies created the demand for them and sent the youth of Europe to a neon-lit pop music pleasure zone that could be anywhere. Years later, Holiday went back, this time testing the mettle of Carol Smiley, who found not much had changed at all. Well, if it ain't broke. Oh, a word of warning for the over 30s. This year, other tour operators were using this hotel. Imagine coming here for a family holiday and finding the place virtually taken over by the 1830s. In the ideal world, all their hotels should be excluded. That means only those who like such holidays are subjected to them. Do I mean subjected? Well, yes I do actually. Long ago I might have been tempted to try such an experience. Once. However, if you're young, energetic, partial to lots of drink, noise, tuneless music and rather unsubtle meeting calls, then why not give it a whirl? <laughs> Now that